Hello guys, I am Arvind and welcome to this session. And in this session, we are going to discuss advantages and disadvantages of union. So let's get started. And guys, first of all, we are going to discuss advantages of union. So let's go ahead. Union occupies less memory compared to structure because it occupies the size of the largest member only. When we use union, only the last variable can be directly accessed. Union is used when we have to use the same memory location for two or more data members. Now guys, let's go ahead. The allocated space is equal to maximum size of the data member. Now guys, let's go ahead and we'll discuss the disadvantages of union. Only the last entered data can be stored in the union and it overrides the data previously stored in the union. You can use only one union member at a time. Union assigns one common storage space for all its members. Now guys, let me open up the Turbo C++ compiler. Guys, in this program, I have declared a union student and there are three members in it, int A, float B and character C. And now I am declaring a union student as and after that I am calculating the size of this union variable by using the size of operator. So it will print 4 because it occupies the size of largest member and that is B because it is declared float. Because int takes 2 bytes, float takes 4 bytes and char takes 1 byte. So guys, if I run this program, it is printing 4. So guys, I hope it is clear to you. Now moving forward guys. Guys, in this program, I have declared a union student and there are two members, int A and float B. And after that, I am declaring a union variable S. And now I am taking input from the user with the help of a scanner function for these members A and B. And now I am printing the values of A and B by using this printf function. So this printf function will print the garbage value and this printf function will print the value of B. And as I told you, this printf function will print the value of A garbage because only the last entered data can be stored in the union. And the value of B will override the value of A because all members in the union share the same memory location. So guys, if I run this program, it is requesting to enter the value for A. So let me enter the value for A. I have entered 2. Now it is requesting to enter the value for B. So let me enter the value for B. I have entered 5.5. Now it is printing the value of A 0 and the value of B 5.5000 and so on. So guys I hope it is clear to you and thank you so much guys for watching this video. Just in case you liked it do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then in the next video.